Alright, uh, what's up guys? Um, today I'm just going to show you real quick how to install the new version of 660ME version 1.8 on uh, a PSP that is a at a lower version uh, firmware <coughs> how to update from any CFW lower than 660 to 660ME version 1.8 and for this tutorial you'll see that I'm already in 620 Pro B10 this is my 1000 PSP 01G module. Um, you're not going to want to try this on a 3000 or a Go, only fully hackable PSPs. So let's begin. Um, first and foremost, you got to download the file that's in the description and then enter USB mode. And this is the file that's in the description right here. You open it up and it will just have an update folder in it. And then let me get my PSP open. You're going to want to open, this is the PSP here. You open up PSP and then game. And then take this update folder and drag it over here into game. And then it will copy onto your PSP. And then you can disconnect from USB mode. Here's my PSP Alright, All right. now after you uh, after you disconnect from the computer, you're gonna want to go over into the game section on your memory stick, and then you'll see this PSP update version 660 minimum edition. Press X on that. I've also included the 660 update in the download so you're not going to have to download that. It'll verify the, uh, the 660 update which for all intents and purposes is 660.ppp and now it'll say press X to start the update, R to exit naturally we want to press X and it will start the updater now this is going to look exactly like an official Sony firmware installer but it's not <laughs> And there it is. PSP system software version 660. X on start. We'll bring up the license agreement. You have to accept that. Press X to start. And there you have it. It's installing 6.60 ME version 1.8. Pretty simple. If uh, if you have a PSP 1000, it doesn't have custom firmware on it at the moment. Then um, you can actually I'll I'll if you're at 660 already, I'll leave a link to just the 660 the update which will run on official firmware. If you're lower than 660, then you have to be in custom firmware to get this to work. Like say you have 6.35, 6.31, 6.20, 5.50 5.03 gen. 5.00 M33 whatever you got if you need help getting your PSP into custom firmware like no matter what firmware version you have 1.71 like doesn't matter if you go to my channel you can look through my videos you'll find something some kind of firmware that you'll be able to either update to or downgrade to or whatever I mean you can even uh, go over to the network update tab on your PSP, select the network update, update your PSP to official 660 firmware, and then I'll, I'll leave the, the download for just the ME update, and then you run the ME, ME update from 660, it takes two seconds and it installs perfectly. So you don't need to be in custom firmware if you're at 660. If you're lower than 660 and you're not in custom firmware, just update to 660. 660 I'm sorry and you'll be able to install this no problem so this is just about done it's about two-thirds of the way done three 
three quarters of the way done. That's it. I'm going to press the X button to restart. And it will restart your PSP. And because it runs natively inside of a PSP Sony update, you really you really run very low risk of uh of breaking. Here, look at my MAC address, I don't care. Uh 660 ME version 1.8. So that's it for today, fellas, ladies, gents, everybody. Uh, make sure you check out my channel, check out my other videos, like, subscribe, comment, react, all that nonsense. Follow me on Twitter. Get at me at sneaky-media.com, sneaky-codes.tk. Uh, one word. Uh, we're uh, we're trying to get shit going. Trying to get sneaky media as popular as possible. So make sure you check that out. And uh, yeah, subscribe if you like the video. Swan Leader signing out.